Hello, and thank you for joining. We are Metascale, your premier big data partner providing end-to-end -end services and solutions. Today we're going to dive into the topic of real-time analytics and real-time data processing. In the big data grand landscape, there's many different ways to approach processing, and real-time is becoming more important as our systems become more interconnected. Today we're going to take a look at specifically how we can use this real-time platform um, to create uh, some analytics uh, through a dashboarding mechanism. In a retail environment, a lot of data is being created at the customer store level. You know, it's at the point of sale system or POS system, and this data is being generated. But in order to make decisions on the fly, uh, you, we need to be able to take this information and we need to move it throughout our big data ecosystem. Now traditionally this type of work is done in a batch environment, so if you need real-time performance, such as knowing where your inventory is throughout your locations in real time, this is the way to do it. So typically the data is being created and it's queued um, through some type of mechanism. It could be FTP, it could be MQ, um, it could be Kafka itself, but the data has to get into your platform. The mechanism that pipes this data into a continuous flow of information is the storm cluster. And what the storm cluster does is it basically streamlines the flow of information. But in order to get the data to where it needs to go, it has to be laid out and queued properly. So you can think of lanes of traffic and merging on an expressway. So you're reducing lanes and these cars or data packets have to then be piped in correctly. And that's what Kafka does. So once it's been queued correctly, we can move the data into a NoSQL platform. It can be a, an SQL-based platform. And in this particular example, which we're going to showcase, we're actually going to move it into a Cassandra cluster. So once we have the data in the Cassandra cluster, uh, then we can then perform our real-time dashboarding and analytics. Before we dive into that topic, I think one thing is important to note is that data security and governance issues um, can be addressed in multiple ways in this particular model. So we have to secure the data at both the pipeline as it's moving into the storm cluster and how the data is then moving out to your dashboarding and analytics. Now that we've talked a little bit about the infrastructure to support real-time analytics, I want to talk about how we can leverage this information for decision making. You know, one important way to look at the information is through a dashboard. And the focus that we're going to take here is we're going to explain some of the metrics here, and then we'll go back and we'll actually walk through the process so you can see the data populated. This particular dashboard that we're showing is an Excel-based dashboard. Behind the scenes, the data is refreshing in real time. So if we're looking at inventory movements across stores in a retail environment, you know it might be prudent for us to know you know, how much inventory we have in a particular store at a particular point in time. So the analytics and the measurements that we put in place have to be specific to that particular environment and it has to be a hybrid of what is required in real-time processing versus what can be done in batch processing. Now that we've talked about this, we're going to go back and we're going to really very simply show you how the data is supposed to move. So what we're seeing here looks like a lot of information, but it's really quite simple, actually. We are showing three different services that are being uh, executed that drive the real-time analytics. We have our Kafka cluster, we have our Storm server, and we have Cassandra running in the background. Once the point-of-sales system creates the data, we have to prepare the data so that it can flow into our database and our analytics correctly. The first stage of this processing is we're going to take this binary format piece of information and we're going to convert it to a JSON format and the mechanism will be STORM. So once this data then is piped through STORM, we have to then get it prepared for a tabular format so it can be consumed by our NoSQL, in this case Cassandra. And the mechanism that actually performs this function is Kafka in this case. So it's a two-tier parsing mechanism that is taking our data from point of sale and preparing it for big data analytics. So previously we had shown in the console uh, starting up with the various services, so Storm, Kafka, and Cassandra. Now what we want to do is really show you the back-end piece on how the data is flowing throughout the process. 
In this particular piece we're looking at here, we're looking at the transfer of information from Storm to Kafka. And the second piece that we're now looking at in this particular service as we execute it, we're now piping it from Kafka to our NoSQL format. In this case, uh, we're making it uh, Cassandra ready, which enables our real-time dashboarding. Now if we go back to our dashboard, and if you're looking carefully, you'll see that the data in the dashboard is of the previous state. But once the entire mechanism runs through, the data is piped, we will see in real time our dashboard updating and to reflect these changes in the values. And this real time updating is the power of the entire platform. So in this case, all we're waiting for is a predefined condition in Excel to refresh every 30 seconds or so, but we can speed this up to however we want. And as you can see, if you're watching the data carefully, it has now been updated in, in real time. Thank you very much for joining us today. We are Metascale, the premier provider of big data services and solutions. We want to be your one-stop big data helpline. If you're interested in our products and services, please feel free to check us out at www.metascale.com or contact us through the telephone number or email address listed below. Thank you very much and have a nice day.